Hello my makeup family and welcome to this makeup chat about why I am boycotting L'Oreal Paris. They are a huge conglomerate and in 2019 their estimated revenue was 29 billion pounds. And you may be wondering a couple of things, why that revenue was so high and also why there are other brands in my thumbnail. And I would like to share with you the brands that are owned by L'Oreal and you will quickly come to realize this is why they earn so much money. So here are all the brands that are owned by L'Oreal. Damn, that's a lot. That is a lot, a lot of brands that make a lot of money that all go towards the huge conglomerate L'Oreal Paris. So you may be wondering, Hanya, bitch, what's your problem? Why are you boycotting L'Oreal? Before I get into the reasons as to why I'm boycotting L'Oreal, I would just like to say that this video is inspired by Mal Thompson's makeup resolutions tag that she did. There was a question in that tag video which was about which brands you are leaving behind in 2021 and I thought to myself, damn, I could do a whole ass video on the brands that I've left behind. A lot of them you guys know because I talk about actively not purchasing from them but in 2021 I'm gonna do my damn hardest from now until the end of time probably because L'Oreal doesn't look like it's changing anytime soon to boycott these brands and not purchase from them. The other thing that I will say before I jump into it is all the articles that I used to research on the things that I already knew about L'Oreal um, and just to further, further my knowledge and make this as knowledgeable as a video for yourself and for myself not to look like I'm just spewing bullshit will be all listed down below along with lots of links for you to read into other brands that I am going to mention in this video. So make sure you check the description box below for anything of any references of what I am talking about. So let's get into why I am boycotting L'Oreal. There's quite a few reasons and I've grouped them all together. The first one I'm going to touch on is L'Oreal's issues with diversity or lack thereof, shall I say. L'Oreal try a goddamn lot to make it known to you that they are a diverse company. They want to tell you that they are all about supporting people from different backgrounds, races, religions, sexes, as they say in their own company statement. But that is quite far from the truth of what L'Oreal is all about. And there's been a couple of very public things that have happened with models that they have put on their frontline campaigns, which I am going to talk about. The first one was in 2017 with the mixed transgender model by the name of Munro Bergdorf. I think I'm saying her last name wrong, so forgive me if I am. So basically in 2017, L'Oreal gave their first contract to a mixed race transgender woman for their diversity campaign. In the weeks that followed of Munro getting that contract, the very sad incident of a woman dying in a white supremacist supremacist rally in Charlottesville had taken place and Monroe was very vocal about her thoughts um, on this topic. I will put up the screenshots of what she put on Twitter about it. If you are confused or you think that she's wrong in any way or you need a bit more justification as to why she was tweeting what she what she tweeted, I will leave some links down below where she explains why she tweeted what she tweeted. Nevertheless, L'Oreal seen this as a slap in the face. It didn't fit into their values um, and they took away her contract and she was fired from being the first mixed race transgender woman on the diversity campaign. In 2018, L'Oreal had another very public fallout and forced a woman of colour by the name of Amina Khan to apologise. Amina Khan is a very well-known South Asian beauty blogger who is a Muslim woman who wears a hijab and this was a big thing for not only the South Asian beauty blogger sphere but also for Muslim women who wear hijab to be represented in a huge beauty brand's campaign. However, this was a very, very short-lived when right-wing media outlets had dug up Amina Khan's past comments on the Israeli-Palestine conflict. The contents of those tweets were extremely critical of Israel's war in Gaza and the killing of 2,000 children in the years that had just passed. And Amina was called out as being anti-Israeli and also anti-Semitic. 
first thing I would like to say about this is it is not and it never will be anti-Semitic to call out Israel on their war crimes. Secondly, no matter how many sanctions that Netanyahu likes to put on the BDS campaign, it will never be anti-Semitic to call Israel out about the war crimes in Gaza. Most importantly, to the point as to why I am boycotting L'Oreal in the context of these two very public cases, is L'Oreal do seem to be very, very much for championing towards diversity for people from different ethnicities, backgrounds, sexes, religions, and races until those people start to have opinions. L'Oreal loves to throw in our faces how much they advocate for diversity until those people from diverse backgrounds start having opinions on very important topics that are going on in the world today. One must question just how deep those diversity values run at L'Oreal. Are they really a friend and an ally to people of color? My answer is hell to the no. And if that's not enough, there's so much more to talk about with L'Oreal. Much more recently in 2020, L'Oreal actually made one of their spokeswomen for the brand, Amber Heard. I won't go too deep into this topic about Amber Heard becoming a spokeswoman for L'Oreal. What I will do is leave a video linked down below to Ready to Glare's video on this topic because she touches on it perfectly and she has done a really good job at explaining the history behind it and why people are so pissed off at L'Oreal for choosing this abusive disgusting woman to be a spokesperson for their brand. So following on as to reasons why I am boycotting L'Oreal the third reason is the brand Nestle has a 30% stakeholder share in L'Oreal and if you don't know anything about L'Oreal I will tell you a little about them now and why I fucking hate that brand. Nestle is a despicable company from their formula feeding scandals to them making water access to clean drinking water. They tried to push to make it a need, not a right of a human being. And that is all in the name of profit. Nestle have literally gone to countries like Pakistan into the remote villages dug huge deep wells and took away the resources of water from those people for their bottled water success and they make a lot of money off of their bottled water. Those people in the villages are then left, left with dirty contaminated water and you know what Nestle's response to that is? And to top those two human rights abuses off. Nestle have also been caught out trafficking children, abusing them in working conditions and making them work for fuck all for their cocoa production. And these three things that I've just literally touched on are skimming the surface. These are the tip of the iceberg about Nestle and these fuckers get 30% of all of L'Oreal's income and that's why I'm stripping away all of the money that I give towards L'Oreal and all of the money that I give to Nestle as it is. And if those few points haven't convinced you as to why you should look into boycotting L'Oreal and tell you specifically as to why I'm boycotting L'Oreal, here's some more fun facts about L'Oreal. They are actually finding loopholes within their own policies to get away with calling their products non-animal tested when in fact they are still testing on animals. Not only that, the Quantarium 15 whipping on the conglomerate's cake is the cancer-causing agents found in their very well-selling mascara. So in conclusion, fuck Nestle and fuck L'Oreal. If you would like to know more information about why you should be boycotting Nestle, I will leave a brilliant subreddit down below for you to read. It has so much information as to the human rights violations, the environmental violations that Nestle commits every single day and nobody bats an eye towards them. So I feel as human beings that know this information, it's our duty to fight conglomerates like this with our money and not source them at all. And of course, I feel the exact same way about L'Oreal. Their stance on things is disgusting and despicable and I cannot support them. Unfortunately, I've already bought a lot of products from their sister companies. Um, I have a sunscreen here. I have a glitter glue here. I have 
skincare products here like just looking at the things in front of me unfortunately the damage is already done i will still be using those products up and but i will no longer be purchasing any fresh products from all of their sister companies which i will leave down below i'll leave a screenshot for you guys to keep on your phone as well And I will leave the links to all of the information as to where I got this information from and how I made my informed decision about boycotting L'Oreal. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. Are you going to boycott L'Oreal? Are you already doing it? That may be the case. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you think of more serious topics like this in the makeup and skincare industry. Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay safe, everybody, and I shall catch you in the next one.